In this video, we'll guide you on how to install your synthetic grass on a hard surface to achieve a professional result. A hard surface can be any surface that isn't uneven or porous, such as concrete, tiles, decking, bitumen or timber. Step 1. Hard ground area preparation. Ensure your hard surface is free from debris, dust, grease and oil. This will allow the glue to adhere to the base. This can commonly be achieved by using a broom or blower vac. Ensure the surface to be glued is dry. If the weather has not been ideal, a blower vac can help to dry your base out. Step 2. Laying the grass. Roll your tough turf pieces into their desired position, whilst ensuring the grass fibres are facing the same direction. When lining up your turf pieces, make sure there is no more than a 5mm gap between each section at the joint. Mark the base along your join so you know where to apply the glue. Then it is a matter of cutting the perimeter of your grass to fit your space. Step 3. Gluing the grass. Peel back the edges of your first turf piece and apply glue to the base. Then trowel it into a thin layer using a 3mm V-notch trowel. You should aim for your glue to cover at least 300mm in width. Here we are applying glue to the perimeter only, as this space has its own in-ground drain. When applying glue to your unique space, it is vital that you keep drainage in mind and ensure the glue is in a place that allows for adequate drainage. Depending on the weather, wait around 10 minutes for the glue to go tacky and fold each edge down onto the glue, finishing with care by connecting any joins. Hide your join by blending the grass fibres with Tough Turf Spiky Joining Roller. This will also help increase the bond between the base and the turf backing. Step 4. Adding Sand Fill Sanding your grass is important to support the base of the fibres, preventing the grass from lying permanently flat. Before adding the sand fill, use a power broom or stiff bristled broom to brush the blades upwards. This makes it easier to distribute the sand into the base of the grass. We recommend using approximately 10 to 15 kilograms of dried silica sand for each square metre of grass. A sand spreader or seed dropper will make this job easier and provide a more even spread. Your aim is to get the sand in between the blades of grass and not to let any large volumes of sand in one spot as this will cause lumpy grass underfoot. Finally, using a power broom or stiff bristle broom, brush in the sand. This will ensure an even spread of the sand and push it into the base of the grass, helping keep the grass standing up and improve the long-term appearance. By taking the time to follow these steps, you will have a quality installation and a fabulous new area to enjoy for many, many years.